We are constantly moving towards our eternal source. As I was sharing with you earlier, your condition of life, I read somewhere, depends absolutely on the condition of your inner self. If my inner self is together, nothing can derail me. Many times people ask me, how to gauge spiritual progress, or even how to make progress spiritually. And they ask me, can you give us some mantra to chant, or some meditation, or any other kriya, something to do with my breathing, and so on. But you know, to be quite honest with you, these things don't make anybody spiritual. If these things made anybody spiritual, then I think billions of people would be ultra spiritual in this world. People who are no longer here and people who are already here and people who will be here in the future. External actions can help, but only so much. And I would like to tell you something very simple, but I think profound. It's this, if you examine your life currently, as it stands today, this very moment, do you think there is somebody in your life who you dislike? Is there a certain situation that you absolutely detest? Is there a certain thing or event or circumstance you are trying to avoid anything. There must be something that, that derails you and that causes you to have a meltdown or, uh, or causes you to just break down and, and become hopeless. Is there anything like that? I'll just give you 10 seconds, please reflect on it and just think about it. Uh, that one person or that one thing, maybe a debt you are trying to pay off, or some education you are trying to fulfill, or some uh, education you are trying to finish, or some responsibility you are trying to fulfill, and so on. I'll give you 10 seconds. Just think, what is the most difficult thing right now in your life? Okay, have you thought of something? You see, until you are at ease with what you have just discovered, you cannot make spiritual progress. It's hard, but it's true. You see, often there are things or people in our lives that disturb us. And we want to avoid those people. Sometimes avoiding is the good strategy, but most of the time it isn't. Resolving a problem is. So to forget about these things, we keep ourselves busy in other things, whether that's work, chanting, meditation, yoga, exercise, hobbies, and so on. That does not lead to a solution. None of these things lead to a solution. Eventually, I must be comfortable with what derails me or who or whom, uh, who actually derails me. With whomsoever I have an issue, until I'm comfortable with that person, I have not made spiritual progress. All I've done is distracted myself from the core issue. So if you really want to make spiritual progress, one very good definitive way is to write down the one thing that really bugs you. One person or 
some action of that person or what you may be facing at work or just generally at home and ask yourself what can you do to be at ease with that thing that's derailing you that person that disturbs you could be uh, your spouse could be your boyfriend girl or girlfriend could be your parent could be your child could be your boss could be anybody could be your guru could be your disciple could be anybody ask yourself what can i do to be at ease with this person or this thing if you are even gradually attaining a sense of peace with the presence of that person or that thing or that uh, dealing with that situation you are making spiritual progress and believe me one day it would cease to matter it would you will be amazed when you grow out of that thing or when you grow spiritually you will be laughing your head off thinking that at one time these things disturbed you you know if you have a little toy and you're a child you are very attached to the toy but when you grow up and that toy doesn't hold the same attraction for you anymore and then if somebody says can i have that toy you'll say yeah i mean sure go ahead i have no i have no use for this why because you have grown out of it similarly our emotions when you grow out of your emotions there comes a moment when all that feels um, like a giant himalayan mountain a huge issue right now will actually appear extremely insignificant and unimportant and irrelevant in the grand scheme of things somebody asked mahavira this beautiful question you know this person said to mahavira what is the cause of suffering or any tragedy in one's life why do we suffer buddha had given the answer that we suffer because we are ignorant mahavira gave a different answer he said limitation is the cause of suffering limitation is the cause of all tragedy a human being experiences in his or her life each one of us we have certain mental limitations certain emotional limitations and certain physical limitations whenever we are pushed to our limitation our limit sorry when we are pushed to our limit if at that time i can accept the pain i have to go through i am going to cross that barrier and i am going to extend my limitation but if at that time i give up or give in or i lose myself and i cannot maintain my balance that limitation is then causing me suffering because i find myself up against the wall and i don't know what to do and a wall however beautiful it may be remains a wall it's only good if it's protecting you but if it's a hindrance on your path it's an obstruction so mahavira said limitation is the cause of suffering whatever limits me is eventually going to make me angry it's eventually going to frustrate me so spiritual growth is about breaking your limitations breaking your conditioning 